All right, we are in Atlanta, Georgia with USC, our wide receiver commit, Josh Moore. Josh, I just watched your game tonight. You're in a very run-heavy offense. You, you don't get a lot of chances. What's it going to be like when you get to USC and playing that wide-open passing system? I don't know. It's going to be crazy. I will, I will, I'll get to practice every day with, like, Miller Moss, Keaton Slovis, Jake Garcia, all of them throwing to me. It's like a dream come true. Like, actually, I'll get, like, 50 balls in a practice. Like, that'll be just such a change up from what practice is like now. It's crazy. That's the whole season for you here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, was it tough to get noticed as a wide receiver? Oh uh, yeah, it definitely was because there's not a lot of like opportunity at wide receiver here just because we can run triple option. And, like most kids that are recruited receiver have like a thousand yards, fifteen touchdown type seasons, and it's just like doesn't happen. Here. For those who don't know, you were committed to Stanford as a defensive back. You also play safety out here. How many schools wanted you as a receiver though? Uh, I say some schools that wanted a receiver at or like Louisville. Duke said they take me at safety receiver. Uh, of course, USC. So it's so not a ton. Yes, sir. So, so what did it mean to you when USC opened up that interest and said, we want you on offense? Uh, it was cool. Like I really liked the coaches. They're really energetic, and it made me feel comfortable with like it. And they made they, were, they assured me like like yeah, you can play a receiver here. Like you're balling out. Now well, we saw you run some great routes tonight. It just it just wasn't there to be had for you, but. Um, so take me through the first contact with USC when they call you. How's that call go? Uh, it was cool. I think I called with Gavin Morris because, like, my uh, my uncle knows him and he knows Spencer Harris. So he was talking with him. He was hyping me up. He like, he's like, dude, you can play here. Because he saw my tape. He's like, for every touch you have, you have an explosive play. So, yeah, that was my first contact with him probably two and a half months ago. And here we are today. So this is before the offer even came. This is before the offer even came. Yes. Uh, so, so at that point, do they say, we want you as a receiver, or do you say, I really want to play receiver if possible? Who starts it? Uh, they just said they wanted me a receiver, and I just thought about it, and I thought like it was the way I should go. And then the offer came, what, like three, a month ago maybe? Uh, month and a half? Yeah, about a month ago, yeah. So, so when the offer comes in, what's your first thought? The USC is now officially involved. Uh, I'm just like happy because like they weren't one of those schools that like kind of talks to you for a little bit and then just like backs out the last minute. So it really like said in like I really have an offer to this place. It really made me feel good. Like they kept like what they were saying consistent the whole time. What were you before that came? Were you kind of just like eager and saying, "Is it gonna come? Is it gonna come?" Or uh, I had a feeling it would come, but of course, like I'd have to wait till like they say those words. Like yeah. you have an offer, or you've been offered by us. So I was just kind of waiting for that. Who did you get close to on the staff with, aside from Gavin and Spencer? Any of the offensive coaches you talked to during the process? Uh, yeah, I've talked to Coach Harrell on his Zoom. I've talked to Helton a lot. Uh, I've talked to Coach Colbert. I'll probably give him a call tomorrow morning just to tell him what happened this game. So, yeah, I'm close with all of them. At, so that have the head coach, the OC involved, that's a pretty good statement about their interest in you. Yes, sir, it is. So that offer comes in. Do you know right away that, okay, I've got to really think about this? Or, or, or what's your reaction in the moment? When I get it, I'm like, I definitely have to think about it because USC is just such a great historic program. And there's just so, there's like so many great players that have come through there. Like you can't not look at USC really. How tough was it though? You've already made a commitment decision. I know it's a stressful process to begin with, but to be in that position, to have to think about changing plans, how tough was that? Uh, yeah, it was one of the hardest decisions I've had to make because the coach, the coaching staff at Stanford was amazing. They showed me a ton of support and they are encouraging me throughout this back at the beginning of the season and all through the summer, even with COVID. And they were just, they kept in touch regularly. So it was really tough, but I made a decision that ultimately I felt more comfortable with. Was that a painful phone call to make? Yeah, it was, it was hard, definitely. Coach Anderson wasn't very, uh, he wasn't, of course he wasn't excited. Right. No one could be in that kind of situation. What, was it really, what, was the receiver DB thing the biggest factor for you, or what was the biggest factor? Well, it wasn't the biggest factor. I just like the city of L.A., like all the opportunity there, because USC is like right there, probably 10 minutes from downtown. It's, yeah, it's, the Lakers, Clippers, Rams, Chargers, there's just so much opportunity there. It's a huge city. It's right, right in the middle of downtown. Have, yeah. you, been, have you been to campus, though? I have not. I, haven't got, I, haven't, I, I hadn't got to visit many places before okay. uh, everything got shut down. Was that an obstacle you had to get over, just having not seen it in person? Yeah, because I guess it, it kind of leveled everybody because I didn't, I didn't get to see anyone, so no one was, like, ahead of anybody like that. So, yeah. Um, so what did they tell you about how they see you fitting into the offense? 
Uh, they see me as a big receiver that can go up and get the ball. They know I have strong hands that can catch. And they know that uh, Amon Ra is probably going to leave after this year and stuff like that. So you want to like fit me right into the system. And you've gotten to know, it sounds like Miller Moss a little bit. Any other, other commits you've talked to? Yeah, I talked to Miller Moss. I talked to the running back commit. Like I got in like the group chat and all that. Okay. So yeah, I've talked to them some. They're pretty cool guys from around the country. Do you, what peace of mind do you have now that it's probably over? You probably, hit, you know, this, this process is done effectively for you. Oh, that's cool. I just like, I guess this chapter of my life kind of closed. Uh, yeah, I can just go on to focus on my senior year of football, trying to win a state championship. So tell, tell the fans a little bit about yourself aside from football. What, what, what are your interests? What do you get into away from the field? Uh, I love watching movies, some anime shows. Uh, I like competing in the classroom. I compete in everything I do. So you'll never have a day when I'm not working hard. Classroom, field, anywhere I'm at, eating food, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and what are you going to study? Uh, I think I want to study economics. Okay. So are you going to have, carry a chip on your shoulder about kind of being maybe overlooked or underrated as an offensive prospect? Uh, yeah, I definitely will because most people don't see me as that. But then I, I kind of think about that. But then when I get out here on the field, teams game plan for me to make sure they can try to take me out the game plan. Yeah. So, yeah, when I get to college, though, I'll definitely have a chip on my shoulder to try to prove everybody that I can do this. That's sometimes I see comments on, like, uh, 247 posts like why are they getting DB transferring to receiver I'm like dude I can play the position I just haven't yeah. had any opportunities yeah, you got the one uh, end zone shot there a little contact before that ball came down how frustrating was that for you uh, it was frustrating mostly because I think the, uh, the ball landed out of bounds so like I really didn't have a chance Yeah, because I, I kept leaning back to see if I can try and get it it just ended up out of bounds so yeah it was kind of tough well, just lastly you're making the move across the country how do your parents feel about you being so far from home for school uh they feel okay about it. They, they thought that I had no bad choices like because they wanted me to go to a great school. And they understand that it's far, but they'll try to support me however they can and make it out to as many games as possible. I guess one last question for you. You know, in this day and age, a lot of kids, they transfer high schools to find the best opportunity. You know, you could have gone somewhere with a better offense, I guess. but Or not a better offense, but a, a better passing offense. Mm -hmm. um, why'd you stay put and stick it out? I stayed put because I love my teammates. I love my coaches, ultimately. And I've been here for four years. I want to finish it off. I want to stay championship here. It wouldn't be the same if I transferred to, like, another school. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you. Uh, thank you.